And I've come to encourage you. Uh, I want you to walk out of this place feeling great about what you do if you don't already. Tom was outstanding. He entertained us from the minute he got on stage to the minute he left, but he also inspired us. I've been knocked out three times. I've dislocated my jaw three times. I've separated my shoulder. I've broken my ribs, my thumb, my nose, my wrist, and my ankle. But it was fun. I had a great time. Everyone is involved with him from the moment he starts to the moment he ends. He has him laughing out loud at one moment and wiping away a tear at another. His message is so powerful. It applies both to our personal and our professional lives. Inspire people with your integrity. Inspire them with your authenticity. Inspire them with your trustworthiness. Inspire them with your humor. Inspire them with your good nature. Inspire them with your friendship. Inspire people. Whether you're Starbucks, whether you're Marriott, New York Knicks, it's all about inspiring people now. That is the key. That is what we're about. Information is one thing, inspiration is another. And truth be told, we're gonna to chase dollars until the day we die. We're, we're just gonna chase money until the day we die. We've gotta pay bills and taxes and so forth. So it's not about the money, it's about the people. It's all about relationships. That's what, it just boils down to people. Let me ask you a question. What type of leadership do you respond to best? I mean, of all the voices speaking in the world, why should I follow you? I mean, why you and not somebody else? The people that you employ are asking you that question. They don't verbalize it, but they're looking at you. And they want to go, is it worth following you? Is it compelling for them to come to work and go, that's where we're going? Great companies have it that way. As Tom took the time to do his homework, to learn Starbucks vernacular, he read a book about Starbucks, and then he was so comfortable with it that as he spoke, it felt natural. It felt like he was one of us. Tom customized a message that spoke directly to our retailers. He formed relationships with them right from the beginning, really visiting with them in their stores and on the phone to learn more about their business challenges and their aspirations and their hopes. Don't we love the teams and the organizations and the companies and the individuals who just don't settle? That's why we like Rocky. That's why we watch Braveheart. We're a bunch of mutts. That's the beauty of this company. That's the beauty of our nation. Whether we're black, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. The diversity in this room makes you strong. That's the beauty of a team. The legacy teams are led by authentic leaders. Legacy teams are led by authentic leaders. What does that mean? That means being real. That means you win people over in moments of truth. Let me ask you a question. What type of leadership do you respond to best? Another thing about Tom that really impressed me was, as you heard him describing a legacy team, you not only wanted to be part of one, you wanted to help create a legacy team. I think about that all the time. Well, he's not only inspiring and encouraging, um, but he's performance-based, and the return that we get is quantifiable and evident long after uh, we're apart. Flying back from Florida a couple of years ago, I was sitting on an on an aisle seat and a gentleman against the window of this plane. And he was putting his things together. No one was sitting between us. And in the pouch in front, he put his stuff. And then when he was doing that, I said, do you mind telling me, Bob, what you do? And he puts his things in the pouch. And then he sits back in his seat. And he slumps in his chair. And he sighs a large sigh. And he turns to me and says, I'm in insurance property and casualty. You know what he did? He missed it. He saw himself as a paper pusher. He filled out policies. What he really does, do you know what he does, ladies and gentlemen? He allows mothers and fathers to take their children and tuck them in bed at nighttime and pull a sheet up under their chin and kiss them on the forehead with a roof over their head. He puts families back together, and yet he didn't get it. Do you see the difference? That's why I'm asking you, what is it that you personally really do? What I loved especially about Tom's stories, he found a way to weave in very personal messages that were consistent with what we wanted as a leadership team, but also what our team needed to hear. It was great. In our great city of Seattle, nine years ago at the West Seattle Stadium, nine kids lined up for the 100-yard dash. 
It's the Seattle Special Olympics. These kids that lined up at this starting line were all mentally or physically disabled, and they got up to the 100-yard dash line, and they're going to run the race not really in a dash, but with a relish to win. And the gun was sounding. And all nine took off, except for one boy who fell and tumbled on the track and began to cry. The other eight runners heard him cry. And they slowed down, and then they stopped, and then they looked back, and then they went back. All eight of them went back to this little boy. And a little girl with Down's syndrome, what she does is she bends down, and she kisses the little boy on the head and said, this will make it better. And all eight of them then begin to pick him up, and they locked arms together. And all nine of them walked across that finish line to a standing ovation and not too many dry eyes. You know why? A winning's great. You know what's even greater than that? Helping people win. What he does is he brings you into the moment and you walk out there saying, that was unbelievable, that helped me. We keep inviting Tom back because he's not only one of our greatest ambassadors with our customers, but he delivers a message that our associates want to hear. I'd recommend Tom because of the job he did, uh, because of what I heard from the people in the audience, and because of what I saw people working on after they'd heard his message, so absolutely. Without a doubt, Hallmark will be inviting Tom back for another presentation in the future. <laughs> so long. Thank you. That is what I know I'm getting with Tom Flick. Incredible talent, incredible engagement, incredible performance.